As you can see, I have all 32 starting quarterbacks for the upcoming NFL season on this tier list, starting it right into it. We have Tua Tagovailoa. When he remains on the field, he is a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. Depends if he's going to be able to stay out of concussion protocol or not. I'll put him above average. Next, we got Jared Goff. I'm going to throw him in the average tier. Beginning of last year, I had him as a bottom eight quarterback. But now, after a good sample size with actually some good weapons, he belongs in the Kirk Cousins tier. Up next, we got Joe Burrow. He's a franchise quarterback. There's nothing even to go about it. Leave a comment down below if you think I should rank all 32 quarterbacks. And if I sound weird, it's because I just cut my wisdom teeth out yesterday. Up next, we got Jordan Love. I'm going to put him below average for now. We haven't seen any um, of Jordan Love on the actual playing field so far. So he belongs in below average. Can't say he's a dumpster fire quite yet. Up next, we got Brock Purdy. I'm going to throw him in the average tier for right now. Just because it was a little bit premature of last year. Yes, he was 8-0 and as a starter in the regular season. But... He still has much to prove this year. Up next, we have the Commanders quarterback. I don't even know who this is. I think this is Sam Howell. He looked horrible at the end of last season, and that's where he's going to stay for a little bit. Up next, we got Trevor Lawrence. He's going to go above average. He is the franchise quarterback for the Jaguars, but only after one mediocre season and a, a horrific game in the playoffs. He's going to go into above average for now. Up next, we got Aaron Rodgers. This is actually the first time I'm going to have him out of the franchise quarterback ranking just because of how bad he played last year, and I'm, and, um, I'm going to try to be unbiased as possible. I am a Vikings fan, but I just don't think Aaron Rodgers had a really good year last year. He could have a bounce back year, though, in New York. Up next, we got Patrick Mahomes, greatest quarterback in the NFL. Up next, we have Jalen Hurts. I am going to throw him in the franchise quarterback, but at the very edge, he had his first really good season last year. It's going to be able, if he can rebound back from it, or um, if he can continue it once again. Next, we got Desmond Ritter. He's below average for now. Not a big enough sample size quite yet. Up next, we got Kyler Murray. I know he's probably going to be hurt for the majority of the season. I mean, he hasn't been ruled out of week one yet, but I am going to throw him in the Kirk Cousins tier. I did have him above average last year, but... You see how well the Cardinals did last year. Up next, we got Josh Allen, who's probably going to be number two for Pat to Patrick Mahomes for the next 10 years. Up next, we got Kenny Pickett. I mean, he's going to go below average for right now, unfortunately. He threw a lot of picks last year, and, I mean, he had a pretty decent season. Got the Steelers a winning record, which I didn't think was going to be possible. Up next, we got Mac Jones. This is a make-or-break year for Mac Jones. After a really uh, solid rookie season, he started going on the decline immediately. Part of that's because of Matt Patricia and the Patriots not really having any weapons for him. But we'll see. Uh, up next, we got Geno Smith. He's going into the Kirk Cousins tier. If you would have told me before last year that Geno Smith was going to have a breakout year and lead the Seahawks to the playoffs, I would have called you insane. Up next, we got Dak Prescott, another Kirk Cousins candidate here. He's uh, really just a clone of Kirk Cousins. He can't show up in big time games. He turns over the ball a lot, and yeah, that's where that's where Dak really belongs. He can have above average performances, and then he has some where he's a bottom five quarterback in the NFL. Up next, we got Justin Fields. He's going to go on the bowl average for now. If he increases his ability as a passer, because he's already an amazing threat as a runner, he will go into the Kirk Cousins tier, or maybe even to above average if the Bears can win eight, nine games this season. Up next, we have, I think this is Anthony Richardson, rookie quarterback. I don't believe he is up into the Kirk Cousins cal caliber yet. I don't, I'm going to have one rookie in that tier, and you'll, you'll know when I get to him. But, yeah, he's got a lot to prove, and the Colts O-line is poopy this year. Up next, we got Lamar Jackson in the above average tier. He just got paid this last offseason, and he needs to prove himself that he got he got uh, he needs to prove that he earned all of that money. Up next, we got Justin Herbert right behind Joe Burrow in front of Jalen Hurts. This is one of my favorite quarterbacks in the NFL to, to watch, and he struggled for me in fantasy in my other league last year. But I had nothing against Herbert at all. I think it was a play calling once again. Up next, we got C.J. Stroud, another rookie. He's got a lot to prove. He's playing for the Texans. Texans are going to be a bottom three team this year, but I could see him passing anywhere from 20 to 25 touchdowns with like 10, 11 picks. Up next, we got Derek Carr, the definition of Kirk Cousins, if you ask me. Um, he is slightly underrated than what people give him credit for. He, had, he was under Josh McDaniels last year, so what do you expect? Up next, we got Matthew Stafford. I'm going to again throw him in the Kirk Cousins tier. He was dealing with a lot of injuries last year. The Rams, probably the worst team to ever win the Super Bowl, and then go at five and twelve, or excuse me, like yeah, five and twelve or five and eleven last year, absolutely horrendous. Up next, we got Baker Mayfield, below average uh, quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Buccaneers gonna be about a bottom five, bottom six team this upcoming season, even though the Bucks all line is decent and Baker Mayfield's not. Up next, we got Ryan Tannehill. I'm gonna throw him in the Kirk Cousins tier as well. Um, just a whole lot of mid this year, and I don't expect the Titans to keep Ryan Tannehill. He could probably not even be a starter by the time this video is up and going. And 
He possibly could even be a starter when the new season actually starts, but for right now, he is still the starter of the Titans, and he is the definition of mid. Up next, we got Russell Wilson. I'm going to throw him in the beginning of the Kirk Cousins tier. Actually, no, I'm going to throw him above average, just because of the horrible situation he was in last year with Nathaniel Hackett, and I, I don't know, he appeared really out of shape, but he should be uh, rejuvenated by Sean Payton. He's kind of got that Pete Carroll-esque of coaching where he's going to be able to run the show and Russell Wilson's going to thrive based on that. I'm predicting 30 plus, maybe 35 touchdowns for Russell Wilson this year. Up next, we got Daniel Jones, a definition of mid. He's honestly just a little bit of an upgraded version of Justin Fields. He completes a little bit more of his passes, which is why he's slightly one rank higher than Justin Fields and he's proven to be a really good runner with the football. Up next, we got Deshaun Watson. Again, he's going in the mid category for me. Got paid all of that money to look like an absolute trash can at what, week 13 to the end of the season for the Cleveland Browns. Um, he could easily have a bounce back season as well, but I'm going to have to put him in mid tier for now. Up next, we got Jimmy Garoppolo, below average. He's, he's going to have Devontae Adams as of the making of this video to throw the ball to, but he can never stay healthy and he can only be so good for so long before the inconsistencies really start to roll in. Up next, we got Bryce Young, the one quarterback going in the mid category. Um, he's he's going to be able to, to dominate straight out the get-go, but it's the Panthers we're talking about. There's no CMC, no DJ Moore. He's going to have a really lack of weapons to throw the ball to. And finally, we have Kirk Cousins in the Kirk Cousins tier right behind Deshaun Watson. I mean, I'm a Vikings fan. I've watched this guy for, I don't know, it feels like seven years at this point that he's been on the team. Um, I don't know exactly how many playoff wins he has. Probably like five. With, uh, with the Saints, and then you know, we lost to the Eagles, but just the definition of mid. He'll win you a lot of games that you should win and then lose the games that you should lose. But this is going to be my final tier list for now. Yeah, let me know if you want me to rank these quarterbacks 1 to 32. Until next time, it's been Zach. Peace.